Now I'm going to teach you the trick of felting a turntable. I've taken a cast iron turntable off a humpback. I've cleaned all this off. You can sand this, scrape it, but you have to get it down to this. I use a sander disc on my low angle grinder. You're going to need spray adhesive. You're going to need lacquer thinner. You're going to need an iron. And you're going to need a new blade in your X-Acto knife, or unless you're lucky like me, to have a sharp scalpel. So now I'm going to show you how to do this. We're going to go to the workbench. So what I've done is I've cleaned it. I've cut out a piece of felt. So it overhangs. Right? We're going to take this. We're going to spray on the adhesive all over. Originally, I think they shellac them, and that's what you got to clean off. Spray them with adhesive. Set your felt down. You have to iron this before you put it on. Then press it all the way around on the edges. Okay? You press it all the way around on the edges. Like that. You smooth it out. I use a soft felt because I'm lucky enough to own some rare records like Paramount's. Now we're going to walk over. You want to put this on a piece of wood, just like that. Now you're going to take the X-Acto knife or your scalpel. And you're going to go around the edge, cutting in. Turn it over. You're going to find the center hole. And you're going to cut that out like that. But you're going to leave that like that. You're going to set this on the turntable, run it, and it's going to bulge up, and you just take an X Acto knife and cut it. This is what one looks like. I had a lot of rust on this one, so I covered it with Rust-Oleum paint on both sides to stop the rust. And that's how you felt the turntable, the quick way, and that's my tip for the day.